Okay, we just left Sonic and Dairy Queen and uh, got some goodies, so stay tuned. Hi guys, my name is Shelby Snaz and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> So that's why I wanted to do this challenge today. So let's go ahead with the DQ Cherry Vanilla Float. Amazing. If you have not had one of these, literally pause this video, drive to Dairy Queen, and go freaking get one. They are so good. Mm. So I'd like to point out, so now that I've mixed it up, see? It's like mixed, but there's like a little still some slushiness in the bottom. So then take this bad boy. Mm. So then you can get some creaminess, you get some of the slushiness. Bomb, um, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Okay, I know that was like, I'm like in love with that thing, but I'm feeling good about the Sonic one. So I'd like to point out, see the Sonic one has whipped cream on top. DQ didn't give me any whipped cream. They just gave me all whoop de doo of uh, ice cream. So, bonus, I love whipped cream. Fun fact, my favorite whipped cream is from Starbucks. I worked there very briefly, and they do like some pumps of vanilla. It's really good. Okay, well, whipped cream alone, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. But, just like the other one, we got to mix that up. See, I wish that this cup was clear so you could see what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Let me try and get a, a, a good cherry vanilla ratio. There you go. There you go. That's the bite right there. It's good. Let's get another one. So, I'm sure you're like, oh, all cherry vanilla floats are the same. They're not. I don't know what it is. This one, <coughs> excuse me, this one, this might be a pro for me and a con for you, but this one is more vanilla-y. The Dairy Queen one is more cherry-y, if that makes sense. But, let me, we gotta grab these both utensils. So, let me get down up in there. It's definitely more subtle, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the uh, Dairy Queen one here. There was no surprise. I already knew. Going in. That's my favorite thing. Okay, now on to the pretzels. Obviously, the Dairy Queen one is already going to be higher up in my books because you get three pretzels. Now, I saved the receipts kind of some price breakdowns. So this cherry float with the pretzel sticks is $6.99. And this is only $5.59. But you only get one pretzel stick. So let's go ahead and get on with the tasting. 
Now they do kind of have different kinds of cheeses. I don't know if you can see. Sonic has got kind of more like a traditional cheese whiz kind of cheese. And then Sonic, or Dairy Queen over here has more of like a, I think it's maybe like a pepper jack blend. So first up, we are going to go for the Dairy Queen pretzel. Show you a close up there. And this is not like just your regular like Wessels pretzel cheese. This is like a white cheese. That's good. This is actually the first time I've ever had their pretzels, surprisingly. And I would just like to say, I consider myself like a pretzel connoisseur. We have awesome pretzels at my work. I get pretzels every restaurant I go to. And the cheese is super important. Normally I'm like a spicy mustard kind of pretzel gal, but this cheese isn't just like your normal cheese from the swimming pool nacho stand, if you know what I mean. Like, this is good. I don't know what it is. Got a little spice, perhaps a pepper jack is what I originally thought, but there's no no peppers in there, but it's got some good flavor for sure. Mm. Now, since I'm a professional, I also made sure to get some mozzarella sticks because you have to cleanse your palate in between eating all these different kinds of pretzels, right? So pardon me, just one moment. Also, have you guys ever seen that meme and it's like, oh, five cheese sticks for an appetizer? That's crazy. Oh, just deep fry them, throw some spaghetti sauce on there, and I'm in. That guy knew what he was talking about. This was an excellent idea. On to the Sonic pretzel. So first glance, it's like a little pretzel twist. So arguably, I guess technically it's like two pretzels. So let's try this bad boy out. Oh yeah. This looks like more of a traditional, and it even says on here, signature cheese sauce. I would like to definitely note though, this pretzel is like, it's not as dense. It's kind of more like, like a croissant or a biscuit. I don't know. I, it's kind of not that pretzel-y to be honest. This, the salt is definitely better. It's like more salt, thicker salt. This is like your, your swimming pool nacho stand salt for sure. But the cheese, Pretty basic. Hashtag basic cheese for sure. Let me also just uh, do a little taste and just see if these pretzels are really that good from Dairy Queen or if it's just that cheese. Mm. I'm gonna have to say Dairy Queen is also the winner on these pretzels. Really, really good. So I'm gonna say for presentation wise you can see kind of the sizes these are both smalls and it looks like you would get a little bit more from sonic but i honestly think that it was just the way it came on top so portion size and uh overall look i'm gonna give it to dairy queen because you can see it it's beautiful this is like a drink like when you get boba tea you want to like look cool and it's delicious like this is that same thing for me like look look how delicious this looks you'll be walking down Walking through the mall, you're like, ooh, what she got? Ooh. That's the kind of drink that I want. Now for the pretzels. They were both good for fast food pretzels, but like I said, I know a good pretzel. And since we're in this weird self quarantining state right now, and my only options are drive through pretzels, I'm going to go with the Dairy Queen. So, We've got a score two to zero. Get the out of here. Boom. Dairy Queen and Sonic Mozzarella Sticks. And uh, that's it.
That's my final answer. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and comment down below. Tell me what other challenges or different food verses you want me to try out.